The advantages, come on, you're gonna make more money, easy to set up, it backdates your links. This is a no brainer, folks. Back for another day of building businesses online. I'm building a gifting business. We just got up another article. We got four articles up and we got four in contract, I think. We're going to change gears this morning, but it's a big piece of uh, these businesses is just getting content out, right? The more content we have out, the better we can rank, the more traffic we can get. So let's talk a little bit about traffic. We're building articles that are curated gift lists and we are tying those closely to a lot of keyword research that we did on us based customers so we know we're going after us customers and so that's why we're an affiliate with amazon in the usa so anybody who clicks our link goes to the amazon.com website and purchases we get credit for it. but there are many different amazon sites in the world and we may or may not get credit for a user who visits our website and then clicks to Amazon and then purchases. If they purchase from their local country domain on Amazon, I don't think we get credit. So we need to fix that. And we need to specifically set up some stuff within our Amazon affiliate portal to be able to do that. And so that is called Amazon One Link. And what that's gonna allow us to do is link up all of these country sites that Amazon has. And if somebody clicks on our product link to go to amazon.com, but they're in Japan, if the product exists, it'll redirect them to that product on the Japan website. If the product does not exist, we can set it up so it will redirect them to a similar type of product. And what that allows us to do is capture all the traffic that we're pushing, even out of the United States, it allows us to capture the revenue. So if you're ready for some Amazon One Link, ready to make some dollars outside of your own country, then stick with us because here we go. So we wanted to talk about Amazon One Link, all right? The universal Amazon affiliate link. So let's see if there's any gotchas or things we need to worry about. And then we're gonna just go into the setup. All right, the good news is once we get this set up, it should work for all of your links. All right, so how do we set these up? We need to enable one link within our US Amazon account. So we're gonna have to sign up for all these international associates accounts. And then all we're gonna have to do is click and link those. The good news is when it comes to the European countries, I'm pretty sure we only need to sign up for one of them. And then we can register the other ones with just a button click. First step is to sign up Amazon accounts in other locales. That's the UK. We're gonna have to sign up here. This one is Canada, we'll have to sign up there. All right, once we have signed up, we're gonna log into our Amazon US account, click on tools, one link. After that, we're gonna click on the button that we thought we were gonna have to, and then that's gonna open up a whole list of other geographies. And we're gonna take our store IDs, and we're just gonna plug them in. We're gonna click Canada, we're gonna plug in the store ID, and we're gonna link it, and then it's immediately gonna tell us if we're verified. The last optional step, and I've seen this before is you have the ability to tell Amazon what products you want it to recommend for international traffic. We can choose to have it be a close product match in case the product doesn't exist, or it has to be that exact product. I see no reason that we should not choose the option, the default option. The only example I could think of of wanting an exact product match if you were trying to drive either a link click or a sale to your own product or if you had an agreement in place with another business that said we're gonna we're gonna advertise just your product and nobody else's. If you are questioning that last step by the way, Amazon does allow you to check what those matching products could look like. All right. So we'll close this the session out with some quick pros and cons and some FAQs. So some of the disadvantages is if you have some third-party link shortening services, it may not work. We kind of have that set up, but as far as I know, it works fine with Git Lasso. You need to have a US Associates account, US Amazon Associates account to set this up. So this one link in tools does not exist in other countries. The advantages, come on, you're going to make more money, easy to set up, it backdates your links. This is a no-brainer, folks. All right, so I'm going to start with the UK. And when you sign up for these, this is just like signing up for the US one. I just set up my UK 
Amazon Associates account. You can see this is my ID here, but more importantly, you can see that we can quickly sign up for Spain, France, Germany, Italy. All right, so I just click those buttons and you can see how that has signed me up for all the programs. They were all one click buttons to do. So we are signed up with five different countries now. All right, now it's time for me to link all my Amazon accounts. So I'm gonna link up the UK here. Let's do that. Hey, we're verified, I love it. We're gonna link up Canada. Hey, that one's verified. Gonna do Germany next. Germany is verified. France, verified. Spain is verified. Italy, verified. And then the last one is Japan. Let's see if we did this right. Japan is pending. It says validate here. All right, we just authenticated it by clicking the button. It's now showing as verified as well. So I am all set up with Amazon One Link. That was very exciting. We are now an Amazon affiliate in eight different countries. So if somebody buys something off the Gift Yak or any website that we make in the future and they reside in the UK or Italy or Japan, we're going to get credit for it. So that means we can start driving traffic to those countries with Google or Facebook ads at some point as well. Highly recommend that anybody who plans on being an Amazon associate signs up for one link. Probably took us about an hour to do. So go ahead and do that. Make sure you monetize all your traffic, right? You don't want Amazon taking credit for your sales if you're driving the traffic. That's going to be the end of today. And again, we're building businesses every day here at Maddie Ads. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you bright and early tomorrow. And let's build some businesses. Thank you. Bye-bye.